So guys, watch this. Do you do this? Do you do this with your driver swing? Do you go from yellow to blue? The driver slot? The driver zone? It's like a safety net, right? It's the place to be. It's how you hit your driver absolutely pure. I'm going to show you how to get into that in this video. Have a look at McElroy. What a driver of the golf ball. This guy is yellow to blue. And we're seeing it time and time again. Yellow to blue, the safety zone, the driver zone, how to flush your driver. And it's not like you need unbelievable flexibility. Look at Mark Leishman, not only know his fitness, the guy hasn't seen the inside of a gym in his life, the bent left arm, what a, what a ball striker though. Lost all his structure, yellow to blue, only a slight movement down. And obviously some of the really flexible players out there moving further down, we don't have to get that far down, we just want to hit the driver good, that's all we want people from yellow to blue. Let's go through some fascinating fields, drills and exercises. Can't wait to show you this video. So guys, if you can just leave your tee in the ground, you see that one there, have a look at this. Just picking the ball, it's good gauge. Rather than your tee always flying forwards because then you're hitting on the way down, hitting too much of the tee. If you just pick this off the tee, just visualize it. I just get in there, have a practice swing and just feel like you're Picking that, picking that driver just off the tee. See how both tees are still in the ground here? Now, it's an interesting one because a lot of people say that when the tee flies backwards, it's a good shot. Why does the tee fly backwards? It's because we catch the top of it. It's like a trampoline effect. It lands forwards and goes backwards. If your tee's going forwards, you're hitting it too much on the way down. I saw McElroy when I was coaching at the Australian Open. I've never seen that before. I think he hit like eight drives off the same tee just putting it back on top. Hand-eye coordination, just an absolute monster. But just picking it off the tee, it's just a great gauge. So guys, this is a great little drill. What I'm gonna do is put my microphone on the ground here. I've just, I've tea, popped the tee in the ground. I'm just gonna hit like the first couple of millimeters of the tee and the tee's gonna stay in the ground. So if you can hear this when I, when I do this drill. Great way to get to improve your hand-eye coordination. Take your address position, okay, and just touch the top of the tee. Okay, tee's in the ground, just, just got the first couple of millimeters of the tee there, and if you can do that, you're really improving your hand-eye coordination and just landing in that perfect zone to pick these drivers off the top. Now, it really is possible to improve your driving of the golf ball in a matter of minutes. This style of setup is the easiest setup that there is. This A-style setup, it's basic and clear and simple a wide stance with this symmetrical leg work here. Guys, get this right, and it promotes a longer flat spot here through impact, which makes driving the ball so much easier and helps prevent the head from moving forwards. Now, the distance from the ball is also really important. On average, what we're seeing with the PGA Tour player is two fist widths away from the end of the grip to the legs, which helps us work the club around in a slightly lower plane and just picking it off the tee. Get your setup correct and it just makes it even easier to find this yellow to blue move which just makes driving the ball so much easier. Guys, what we're going to do is have a look at firstly is how we get ourselves, how we feel this position, how we get ourselves from yellow to blue. And then I'm going to show you what I believe is to be the magic move. There really is a magic move in the swing that just gets so many people driving the ball better immediately and we're going to have a look at that. Reach out to me for online lessons, teaching people from all around the world. You don't have to be live to improve your golf. Reach out to me on worldclassgolf.com. Right, let's have a look at how we can find this yellow to blue move much more effectively. So guys, let's have a look at a really good drill, a really good feel here to help you at impact and how you can practice this. Really interesting, basic, clear, simple. Let's have a look. Now, what I want you guys first off to notice is that when we're doing a practice swing without the golf ball, for the masses of the people out there, myself included, it always looks better. It's like the subconscious mind, the unconscious mind, it knows what to do in a way. And, and often when the ball is there, it seems to get in the way. So this is the first part I'm looking at here, simply getting into your practice swing. It's something that I use so much in my own training and swing through and just listen to your body. Like seriously, just feel where your body 
wants to go. And you'll, you'll see things like your head will tilt, your eyes will free up, your release will free up. That's one area, and then hit a golf ball. Great way to capture body awareness, connect to feelings. The second part here that I want you to do is take your address position. We've got the A position in the setup here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into impact and we're gonna get down and into impact. And if you can just touch underneath your right knee here, you do the best you can with the ha however flexible you are. If you, but if you could touch under your right knee here, you're gonna get your shoulders in a really good area and that average is around 30 to 35 degrees, the PGA2 average. This is a great way to get down and into the zone where we need to be. It's a great checkpoint. You can go back to your practice swing, make a swing, listen to your body, get into impact, touch under that knee. So let's have a look. We'll give a practice swing here, move through, feel what the body does. Feel how it bends through the ball. Listen to that, practice swing, and then get in there. And absolutely flushed that one. A great way to feel what your body should do. Your practice swings, filming your practice swings. So people, take a moment to look at this. Look at the left side of the screen. Look at the right side of the screen. Look at the lowering of the right eye, the trail eye, the magic move. From the top of the swing, the shortening, the lowering of the right eye, the viewing room. We're looking at the ball from a different angle here. It's basic, it's clear, it's simple. It's such an effective way. It's one of the magic moves in the golf swing. I'm going to show you how to feel this, use this move. It helps us tilt, turn, shorten, and open up all in one. One move that does everything. Look at that T staying in the ground. Let's have a look how we can feel and use this move to improve our ball striking immediately. So hi guys, if you like the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It helps us reach more people. Thank you. So guys, well, I've got an awesome feel here. You could call it a magic move. It just has a, an awesome chain reaction on your swing and does so many things, so basic, so easy to use. It's a shallowing, a flattening characteristic. You'll probably feel some pressure on the base knuckle of that index finger. So here's how you practice it, right? Get to the top, right? Get everything to click. And when you just lower that right eye, just stay there for a few seconds, all right? It's called static positional training. We just stay there. We just get used to it. It's like the viewing room. It's a different, it's a different angle to look at the golf ball, right? Once again, get to the top, get it to collect, lower the right eye, but just stay there for a few seconds. Now, when you're there, what you can do is then move through the golf ball and just feel what your body wants to do. Once again, get to the top, lower the right eye, just stay there, a few seconds move through the golf ball and you'll get a feeling. Obviously you can do that on the golf course as well. This is transferable directly to the golf course. This sets off a huge chain reaction and yes you can use it with your iron shots. You can move forwards and tilt your head. You can use it with pitch shots. It helps us shorten and clear and open. It's a wonderful move and we're seeing it with so many of the world's best players. Guys get stuck into this. I really do believe there are a couple of moves in the swing that are absolutely like a magic move and this is definitely one of them. This is a great way to emulate and copy PGA professionals, getting yourself to bend your body and move your body like great players closer to what, they, what they're doing. Get your hands like this, all right? point your palms down. Now what we're going to do is when we get up at the top of the swing, it's a good little stretch as well. Keep your palms pointed almost up and away. And then when you're moving through the ball, I want you to keep your palms up here and away, almost like we're holding something heavy at this part of the swing, once again. And you can close your eyes, get a feel, palms away, palms away. Here we go, palms away and point it up, palms away and point it up in this direction. Do it again. Lots of practice swings, getting a feel for where you need to be. Then you can put your hands on the club and you start to get the bends of what your body needs to do. Bending in both directions, chest pointed up, chest pointed up. Great way to capture certain feels and connect to certain feels while you're practicing, guys. Palms away and palms away. Give it a go. It's so much easier to find that driver zone. So guys, the driver club head will rotate more through the golf ball than an iron will. And uh, we need to talk about that. With the irons, it's a, you're more over the ball. It's a shorter lever. We tend to release it a little bit more under. We're hitting it on the way down. The driver, right, we're further away from it. It's the longest, lightest, fastest club. It's teed up. 
and it'll be on a little bit of a lower plane. We'll see most great players will be releasing this club head a little bit more through the golf ball. Now, I want to talk to you about this because when amateur players start to get inside the averages of movement, when they start to get their bodies in great positions, when they go from the yellow circle to the blue circle, when they get the bends correct, they tend then to leave the club face open. A lot of the time they've used the trail shoulder here to really square up the face unconsciously. But when they get the correct positions, they push it out of the right and they think something's not right with it. So they go back to their old style. In actual fact, what we need to do is get this club head to release or rotate just a touch more with the driver. And we know this by looking at so many great players through impact that their club head will rotate. So when this right wrist can move a little bit more into a flex position, you can just use a few drills, just making sure that you are releasing the club head, giving the toe over the heel. Right? It's always, the driver's always gonna release, it's always gonna have rotation, and the club head is gonna sling past and move really quickly here. That's why I always like to show people to get the end of the grip to point up in the finish. Just something for you guys to notice, if you are getting your body in the correct position, is where I help so many people online lessons with throughout the world with so many different questions and things, getting them to understand the golf and play much better. If you are moving your body correctly and hanging it out to the right, just make sure you're getting that club head to release nicely to get that toe over the heel so you can propel these drivers consistently down the line. Voted best swing analysis and best online instruction by several independent surveys. World-class golf instruction is transforming thousands of golfers at every skill level. Do not miss out. This video platform has over 1,400 videos and 85 separate master class series. The most structured and detailed video platform ever created. Improving golfers on average between 4 and 11 shots. Join the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. This is golf instruction that you've never seen before. The proven PGA corridors, factual evidence-based material. Unleash your true potential with the cutting-edge swing analysis technology. Experience the thrill of progress with the state-of-the-art practice programs and specialized golf fitness plans. Best information available.